Well, you better not be on a swing right now. Let's play live from a swing set. Hey, what's up, though? Hey, what's it's Metroid It is time. Metroid. Last time we got a new beam, so we're not going to use it. We're going to shoot missiles at everything anyway. Well, good, because I like missiles. It's also been a, quite a long time since we've done this, and I don't remember. Yeah, we just got a, a new beam, so we are heading off to go to a door that can be opened by our new beam. Oh, yeah, the wave beam. Yep. It's wavy. I like it. Or as my geology professor would say, it's wavy gravy, man. It sounds yeah, like your it. geology professor is <laughs> high as hell. I th I'm actually fairly certain that he does drugs. <laughs> but I'm not going to say anything. Because he, he says things like that. I don't that think he would have sounded as high if it wasn't for the word man. No, he says that, that after like every <laughs> sentence that he says. That's pretty <laughs> I'm, amazing. I'm actually... I'm so serious. It is. It's pretty awesome. You should end all of your sentences with man when you talk to him. I should. I, probably, I should do that. That's a good yeah, idea. that's a good idea. So, this building that we kept going into and could never figure out what we needed to do. Uh, you need a double jump ah. to get up here. No way, I remember that building. No, I'm so I good at Metroid. I'm the best at video games. You're like a Metroid master, man. I'm just gonna shoot that guy because I don't like it. <laughs> good. And all Shooting we needed to good. do up here was shoot this stalactite. Yes! Stalactites come out of the yes! ceiling. Yes! I always get those wrong! Gotta write that I'm time. I'm the best at rocks when they have to do with Metroid. You are the, you're the best at me you're the Metroid master. But then man. I couldn't figure out where to go from there, so I fell off, and now I have to go all the way back around and jump on it again. Oh. Don't let that thing eat you. Its mouth looks kind of scary. Yeah, those things... Honestly, if I saw one of them in real life, I would probably start crying and then curl up in a ball and wait for my impending doom. I would jump on its back and ride it like a unicorn. You ride unicorns? If I ever saw a unicorn, I'd probably ride it. In what way? Just in a... I like, like, bareback. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But I would like a horse. Uh, you're still not helping. <laughs> like, um, like, uh, like, uh, like. So, um, Metroid. These things are very important <laughs> to scan. As you can see, I didn't scan them in this file yet. These are ice streak bats. There are only four of them, right here, and they never respawn. If you don't scan them now, you don't scan them. So let's kill them. There's only four There's in only the whole four game. Four in the whole game. Whoa. They're very important to scan. You, you just completely wiped out an entire species. Yep. Down there, there's something that we can't quite get yet. Because we can't get the ice. Aww. So instead, we're going to come over here and go through this wave beam door, which is purple. purple. I was going to say it's blue. Thank you for that. It is pur more purple than blue. I like, I like the wave Me beam. too. It can be kind of annoying to hit like small targets with it because the way it like waves no pun intended but um, oh but yeah I, I kinda like it I like the color I like the color I like two color I like color I like I like to color outside of the lines I like to color with because I don't I like to color with gel pens remember gel pens I do those things were pretty cool so everyone had them and everyone drew stuff on their trapper keepers with them I haven't heard the word Trapper Keeper in, like, eight years. Well, now you have. And I thought we had to bomb that thing, but no. We have to go to another thing first. Oh, Which Birds. is directly under it. Right there. Oh. Well, aren't you an, a person who knows things? I know. You're a smart. I know a few things about some things. Those are dragon faces. Uh, half dragon, half bird, I think. I think I didn't really get a good look at them, but close enough. They look, look like dragons. Dragon birds. Fusro chirp. Yep. Fusro chirp. 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 Man, watching water like fill up this basin is really dull. 
I know, we just can pretend to be birds until it's done. You'll see a spider ball track over there on the wall. That's a shortcut, so you never have to do this again. That's well, good. once you get the spider ball, you never have to do this again. Which we don't have yet. Nope, we're gonna go down here and get a energy tank. Now you cannot die more. Unfortunately, there's no way to the top level from here, so we have to go out and fill up the water again. Oh. Yeah. That doesn't last very long. Nope, it's only up for a couple seconds. I'm sorry to hear that. But it seems like it would take a lot longer to <laughs> fill up the water. Well, thankfully but. you don't have to do the spinners again. You just have to bomb the, bomb the hole and the water comes out. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, that's good. Thankfully. I always liked how fast like, large areas fill up with water in video games. Yeah, it's like physics? Nah. It's very, it's very convenient. Yeah, I like it. We just got hit by a uh, bat. We just got birded. <laughs> we just got hit by a flicker bat. That's the first and last time that will ever happen. Good. Cordite. Yep, cordite. We can't, bro we can't blow up cordite. And we can't open that door, so we're going to go the other way. Can't broke cordite. Nope. Hey, I remember this, this place, like this three-way intersection. Yeah, you come here quite often. There's a save point in here. We're not going to use it. Because why save? I don't care if, if if I lose all my progress, I can do it again. Cause I'm the Metroid exactly. master. I'm good at I Metroid. I am good at Metroid. Thank you for speaking for me. I was, well, except for the beginning, like, well, I guess you're good at Metroid, but what? Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that one. So over here we have oh, a shadow pirate. Uh, he's about to stab yep, you. They're they're actually really cool. They're like ninjas. They can turn invisible and stuff. I, I want to be able to do that. He's cool, like a sword thing, yep. and he's just was like, oh, like rah, Unfortunately he's for Shadow Pirates, they share all of the Space Pirates' normal weaknesses, um, including the fact that if you hit them with a charged or semi-charged wave beam, they're paralyzed, just letting you shoot them over and over again until they die. Well, you see, I'll make um, very extensive use of it in this fight. It's probably the most useful thing that the wave beam does is you can see right there. Now he's paralyzed. He can't move. So I just keep hitting him with that, and they pretty much freeze in place until they die. Yes, it seems, the wave beam does seem kind of like electrical. Yeah, the wave beam is uh, very electrified. The doors have been unlocked. Over here is a door that people tend to overlook. This is the map room. Not in not really important, not required for 100% completion, but I'll show it off just to show that it's over here. Maps are good. Yep. Then you can see where you're going. And even though I've finished this game so many times, I like to have the full map just so I'm sure that I know where I'm going. That's good. To idea. avoid any more <coughs> exploration <coughs> into the uh. Talon Overworld when we were going to Fendrana. What? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Now you'll notice right here, um, the rapid fire missile trick I was talking about before, you can't actually do that with the wave beam or any of the other uh, weapon upgrades. You can only do it with the normal power beam. Because when no you more. put the missile launcher away with the wave beam out, the missile launcher thing on the end closes, but then there's another portion of the, of the animation where the arm cannon has to re open, as you can see how it, like, opens to the side. Um, yeah. So, if you're going to be using the rapid-fire missile thing, um, you're gonna have to use the power beam. Which really isn't that much of a problem, because rapid-fire missiles will kill pretty much anything in the game. Well, rapid-fire missiles would pretty much kill anything anywhere. Even if it's not... Yeah, the that's true. Yeah, yeah. So we're finding some. This was yeah, nice. we're finding some stasis tanks. They're all empty right now, and if you scan the little things next to them, you can see where the the things that were inside them were taken. But they never tell us exactly what was in there. Creepy. Yeah, it's um one thing that this game does really well, but I don't think a lot of people really give it credit for, is it has a really creepy atmosphere. Like, it's not scary, it's not like a Silent Hill type, oh, I don't want to play this, 
but there's just this like lingering sense of like dread that sits in the back of your mind and is like you don't know what's going on and something could jump out at you at any time. Yeah, that's what I noticed about this game. Like this game especially, it seems really empty. Except for all the things trying to yeah. do like that. It's got a really, really nice feeling of like open exploration. Which is something that I think the the next two Metroid Prime games didn't do quite as well. I mean, I love all three of the Metroid Prime games, it's just this game probably captured the whole Metroid exploration the best. Yeah. I haven't seen the other two games, but this one does seem pretty Maybe good. Maybe we'll have to do something about that sometime in the future. Maybe we'll have to do something about that. I, I agree with I'm, that. I'm making kind of a dumb mistake here every once in a while. When I'm switching back to the power beam from the... Ignore that, that was my capture... Dying. <laughs> oh, that was... That was yeah, weird. Yeah, that was my capture card exploding. Um, when you switch back to the power beam from the wave beam, I kept trying to like center my cursor on the little circle in the middle of the weapon selection like subscreen. You don't have to do that. Um, all you have to do is press the, the plus button, and it will switch back to the power beam right away. Very convenient. Very Ceilings? convenient for rapid changing. The ceiling is kind of a weird place for a door. Yeah, I really thought that that was um, like really unusual the first time I played this. And they do it... I don't, it's not really terribly often, but they do it pretty often. That was also my capture card dying again. I don't know why my, my game started to explode my capture card here. At least it doesn't, like, delete the recording if it Yeah, does. and you never miss more than maybe a, the second it takes me to press the pause button and restart my capture card, so... That's good. I actually don't think it's my capture card. I think it's the hard drive that I record to, because... Um, for anyone who's not familiar with my capture device, it doesn't capture directly to my computer. It captures into a hard drive that I plug in through a USB port. And... My hard drive that I use, um, where you plug in the USB cable into the back of the hard drive, is really loose, so it's easy for that connection to like come out and come undone. And whenever that happens, it shuts off the recording. Uh, I'll probably get a new, um, a new like real small like 500 gigabyte USB drive to fix that. It's kind of annoying, but shit. it's not that big of a deal. Immediately dispatched. Spike. Planetary samples. Radioactive material. Accurate risk assessment. Are unlikely to find an energy source. Uh, it's now sec headquarters. Yup. In here we have one of my favorite rooms in this entire game, honestly. It's really kind of, kind of a basic thing. There's nothing really special about it. But I like how it... It's really just a get to the top of the room puzzle, but the thing that you have to do to open up the top of the room is really cool. Do you have to keep bombing the yes. holes? I was being quiet there for a second because um, the, the soundtrack here is really cool. I say that a lot about this game, but it's always true. Um, you saw that when we bombed that first hole, and you'll see it again here, I think. Oh no, I think it was just the first one. Um, those, like, piston things started pumping. That is actually in time with the beat of the music. That's pretty So you cool. hear um, a real deep, like, thumping every time the pistons pump, and that is in time with the background music of this area, and that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Honestly, I don't see a lot of cool things, admittedly. No, you don't see a lot of cool things. Not usually. But that is still pretty cool. Mm -hmm. the, the pistons. And now that Man. we've turned all of those four spinners, we get a holographic map of the system. Whoa. And since we have Mr. Knows About Space Things, he can talk about the system and see if he sees anything weird about it or if it's accurate or anything. Because uh, each of the 
each of the bodies in the system is scannable. So I'm going to take a second here to scan everything and see what we can see. Here's planet Zebes. Zebes. Um, that's where the first Metroid took place. Ooh. That's Talon 4, which is the planet we're on now. Um, Talon 4, as you can see if you're reading what's in the bottom, was hit by an asteroid and will be barren and uninhabitable within um, two and a half decades. Which is sad, because this is such a nice planet. So sad. I don't know, the only thing is that all those planets are really, really close to that stuff. Yeah, that's what I... That's what I thought. Um, I thought... Yeah, they're also really, really big planets, yeah. if that's the scale. Or I thought star. maybe they had changed the scale just to have it, you know, all fit in the room, but I don't know. Super missile! Yeah, I don't know. I like, oh, you can do super missiles and like bang. Yep, the super missile is one of my favorite things in the game. It's our first charge combo. What you have to do is you charge up the power beam and then press the missile button and it shoots what's basically a five missile combo. It just shoots like five missiles at a time. So now you can break things. Yep, and way over there, we're not going to see the super missile until the next video. But way over there on the other side was a uh, save room, naturally. Uh, you don't save. No, who needs to save? Gross. You're allergic to it. I wonder if I could do a no save run of this game. I don't know. That would be hard. You probably could, but it would yeah, take a long time. Yeah, long game. And here we have one of the very few elevators that isn't a cutscene, but the video's over anyway. Goodbye.